Hello, this is Daniel Martz, and today I'm going to be doing another comic book review. This time around, I'm going to be doing a review for New Suicide Squad number 6, and it is called The Effective Part 2. Um, so yeah, before I begin, though, turn to the spoiler warning as usual for those that just finished reading the comic book and haven't already. Um, stop the video, go check it out, and come back to watch the rest of this review. Time to turn to the spoiler warning as usual, starting now. Okay, so time to turn the volume up, so for those that get time to read the comic book and haven't already, please leave a comment down below or in my social media and I'll give you a fair one, just as usual, I did. Uh, so yeah, very fast, as usual, quick synopsis, like some dislikes, and then the ratings. So basically in this comic book, um, it follows up with the, pre follows up with the previous um, comic, and basically um, you have the su Suicide Squad, and they're stuck in this factory with a bunch of these mutated clone adversaries, I guess is the best way to describe it. Um, so yeah, basically they're in this factory, there's some adversaries, there's enemies there. Um, originally they were supposed to have the factory exploded, so none of these adversaries were able to escape. They're almost like droids or clones, um, and something goes wrong basically, and now they have to they have to attack these things, they're attacking them. Suicide Squad is getting attacked by these, uh, by these people, or things. And... Yeah, I mean, they managed to escape, basically. Um, they managed to escape the bat things, kind of going to see. Yeah, the bat man things, or man thing, or man bat, whatever. Kind of go on a pseudo-suicide suicidal mission at the end to help explode this building factory, which they do end up exploding. And they're real beautiful color shades, right? Um, not color grade, splash shades right there, in my opinion. And then you have this one mutant robot droid there, kind of survive. And now he's after the Suicide Squad, or the new Suicide Squad. And yeah, he kind of goes crazy. He sees the death, basically, of this type of people. And basically, he basically goes after them. Um, on the flip side, you do have some stuff with, uh, with her, I forget her, I forget her name. Amanda Waller, and her new boss. You know, they're usual, they're arguing what, what, what they, you know, should they explode the new Suicide Squad? Should they kill off the Suicide Squad, or so whatever, the new Suicide Squad? Or not, you know, Amanda Waters, she's like, no, we should keep them around. This new guy, he's like, we should kill them off. And use that money to sponsor my project, if you know what I mean. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's very, it's very cool. Um, so, yeah, overall, it's a pretty good comic book. Um, not the best, in my opinion. Um, it is very intense upon first reading, but after the second one, it's, it's one of those things that you really doesn't have, um, ironically, due to the fact that it has a lot of tons of action, doesn't really have that much of a re-readability factor, I guess is the best word. You know, like how like, some things are rewatchable, the other things are really, really readable. You, you know, you would read it again, but kind of loses its gloss a bit um, after you read it a couple times, because I always read, um, read my comics at least twice, um, unless it's just horrendous. Um, and even after that, I try to read it twice at least, or try to at least, I guess. Well. Um, and it does, you know, after a second reading, it loses its gloss, if you know what I mean. It loses the fun about it, of it a little bit, but overall, it's still pretty fun. Still a pretty fun comic, pretty good comic in my opinion. Um, very well drawn and written in my opinion as usual, and I really do like it. Um, I, the stuff with Amanda Waller that's that's getting a bit stale at this point, a little bit, but you know it's still interesting, especially with this new guy. Um, and that new robot um at the end, or robot droid clone thing, at the end that's pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for this. Um, on a scale of one to ten, one to ten, one being the worst, ten being the best, and six being decent, I give it a seven point five out of ten in my opinion. It's a pretty good comic book. And yeah, that's basically it for this review of the comic book New Suicide Squad number six, um, De Defiant or Def Defective, um, part two. And yeah, aside from that, comment down below on your thoughts on the comic book if you've read it. Like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. Follow me on Instagram, in which I post about comics, TV shows, and movies. And aside from that, that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing.